Hey there, welcome to this channel. I'm glad you're here and ready to learn how to use this Notion template. In this video, I'll guide you through the configuration process step-by-step step, so you can get the most out of your future template. By watching this video, you will also better understand how it works as a whole. Let's dive in. As someone with ADHD, having everything in one place is crucial for staying organized and achieving your goals. In this video, I'll show you how to effectively use the Tasks Manager. When you enter the Task Management section, you'll see a dashboard. On the left, there's a calendar view and on the right, a list of all your tasks. Below the task list, you'll find unscheduled tasks. To schedule one, simply drag it from the unscheduled section to the calendar view and drop it onto the date you want to set. Let's begin by creating a new project. Start by naming your project section. Then click the plus button in the calendar view to add as many tasks as you need for your project. You can also set reminders to keep you on track and ensure you never miss a deadline. Use the time property to record how long each task takes, helping you track your progress effectively throughout the entire project. The personal schedule is designed to help you stay organized and on top of your life. You can schedule multiple plans from a single database, the schedule system, which you'll find here. To create a plan for today, start by going to the calendar overview and clicking on the plus button that appears at the top left of the corresponding date. Give your plan a name and the date will be automatically updated based on where you create the plan from in the calendar view. Click on the Reminder property to set a reminder for your plan. This will notify you to ensure that you don't forget about it. If your plan is an appointment, you can also add an end date and time. If you're unable to schedule your plan right now, you can clear the date. Choose a category from the existing list or create a new one by writing your own. If your plan is high priority, check the corresponding checkbox to ensure it appears in the dedicated section on your dashboard. You can also add one or more tags to describe your plan and make it easier to find later. Since we cleared the date for your new plan, it will appear in the Unscheduled Plans section. This section contains all your unscheduled plans. To schedule one or more of these plans, simply drag them from the list view to the calendar view on the desired date. Once scheduled, you'll find the plan on both the calendar view and the calendar list view. In the Mood Tracker section, you can easily track your daily moods. To add a new entry, simply click on the New button in the Mood Tracker database. From there, you can select your mood of the day from 10 different options. After selecting your mood, you can write a brief description of your day or any relevant information you want to include. The date will be automatically recorded and will appear in your dashboard. The top section of the dashboard shows the annual reports for each year, while the bottom section lists all the pages for accessing the objective and key result board by year. You can switch between a carousel and a board view by selecting the top left of the database. To proceed, navigate to the page for the year you want to view. To make creating a new objective line easier, First, click on the blue arrow at the top right of the database and set the existing template page as the default by selecting the three dots next to it. Next, create a new objective line by clicking on the New button. Now, easily add your objective and the key result. The quarterly report feature enables you to review all your objectives and key results on a monthly basis. You can access the report for each month by opening it in the database. Additionally, you can provide a description of your month, identify objectives where you can improve, and highlight objectives where you've excelled to help you be the best version of yourself in the coming months. The Habits and Routines section helps you keep your habits on track. 
Simply click the New button to create a new entry for the current day, then start tracking it. Just above, you'll find your habit tracker, which you can customize to suit your needs. Nearby, there's a daily report for quick reference. Tracking your ADHD symptoms is very easy. Click the toggle list to reveal the monthly tracker. For each symptom, you'll find a list of conditions to track. You can add as many as necessary. Once you finish a month, click the Restart button to refresh the table for the next month. Below this section, you'll find a monthly and quarterly tracker. Enter the database to customize the properties to make this template truly yours. In the bullet journal section, you can easily document your daily life by creating a new journal page with just one click on the new button in the bullet journal database. You can name the new page as you like and add a date or leave this property blank. There are six different templates available in the database corresponding to the six areas of your bullet journal. Select the template that best describes your new page and the type property will automatically be updated accordingly. You can also add some tags to describe your journal page. Now you can personalize the content of your new page to suit your needs. The brain dump section is your canvas for a stream of consciousness. It serves as a digital notebook for spontaneous ideas, unprocessed information, and initial drafts. A quick memory capture in a digital space. Simply click one of the two buttons at the top to add a new note or idea. When necessary, archive a block by dragging it from its current place to the dedicated area. Welcome to the Meal Planner, where you can organize your meal plan and keep track of your favorite recipes. To start, let's add a new recipe to your library. Click on the New button to create a new page and give your dish a name. You can also credit the original source by pasting a web link. Enter the preparation time in minutes, cooking time, and the number of servings. You can also choose from five different meal types and specify if it follows a particular diet. Rate the dish from one to five stars and upload an image to illustrate it. You can either upload an image from your personal files or paste a link to a web image. Once you've added the details, list the ingredients on the left side and the instructions on the right. Congratulations! You've just added your first meal to the meal planner. To configure your weekly meal plan, simply click on a dish and customize the meal time if it doesn't correspond to your usual routine. Next, click on Add Recipe to select an item from your culinary library database. Your new entry will appear just below the meal and on your dashboard. This makes it easy to plan your menu for the week and keep track of what you'll be eating. With the meal planner, you can ensure that you have all the ingredients you need on hand and save time on meal prep. The finance section contains a monthly report of your transactions at the top of the dashboard with the bank account report just beside it, showing the balance for all transactions of the year. To create a new transaction, start by going to the Transactions database. To set a pre-configured transaction template as the default, click on the blue arrow at the top right of the database and select the existing template page. To create a new transaction entry, click on the New button and enter the title of the transaction. Then, add the corresponding date and enter the transaction amount, depending on whether it's an expense or income. Be sure to enter the amount in the correct section, expenses on the left and income on the right. If your transaction is an expense, you can also categorize it. This is linked to the budgets database, which we will discuss later. You can select one category for each transaction, helping you better track and manage your spending. Finally, you can upload an attachment for each transaction. This allows you to store important receipts or documents related to the transaction, making them easy to access whenever needed. 
The budget's database provides reports of all your transactions by month. You can easily navigate between monthly views. To set a target for a particular category, simply open the budget category and enter your desired target amount for each month. This target will appear on the dashboard along with the sum of your expenses. The progress bar will be updated automatically to help you track your progress toward your budget. This is why it's important to categorize each transaction in the transaction database. By categorizing your transactions, you can easily track your spending habits and stay within your budget. In the Savings Tracker database, you can add the amount of money you saved for each month in the Amount Saved property. The progress bar is aligned with a savings goal that you set for yourself. To change your savings goal, simply click on the Savings Goal property and edit it. Enter your new objective next to the Divide By label to update it. To create a new bill entry in the corresponding database, simply click on the New button and give your new bill a name. Click on Open to view it in a side panel. From there, you can choose the due date and track it month after month. You can also add a PDF attachment directly within the page content for easy reference and organization. This section is composed of a walking tracker, a running tracker, and a fitness habits tracker. To start using the walking tracker, simply click on it and then click on the new button to create a new page. Write the AT sign to enter the current date by writing today as the name for this new entry. Next, select the weather for the day and enter the location of your walk. Finally, enter the distance you walked in miles. If you prefer to use kilometers, simply click above and replace miles with kilometers. Distances in the walking tracker come with a progress bar that allows you to set objectives and track your progress. Click on the Edit the Property option to adjust your objective and choose a different color for the progress bar. Once you've entered all the information, check the line to mark it as complete. The running tracker works exactly the same way as the walking tracker. You can view a report of all your walks and runs on the fitness report, which provides an overview of your fitness habits and progress. To configure your monthly fitness habits tracker, click on the configuration button on the right-hand side of your habits generator to open the configuration mode. From there, you can customize existing habits by clicking on the page to access the property menu. Select the habit you want to change and click on rename to give it a new name. Once you've made the necessary changes, don't forget to close the configuration mode. And when you're done with your current month, make sure to add the current month before archiving the Nutrition Week table.